Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of the guitar. It's been my main instrument for most of my life, actually. And uh, although I'm really into the electronic sounds, um, I try to kind of slide the guitar in there somewhere and do some interesting things with it, with electronic music. And uh, what I've really gotten into lately is actually recording electric guitar. Uh, a lot of times I just improvise over a beat and stuff like that. And I will take that guitar, then the audio from that guitar, and I'll start chopping up the audio um, and adding effects to it, pitching the guitar up and down and in some weird intervals to make it harmonically correct and fit into the track. And, um, you know, you can really do some interesting things that way. So I'm working on a track right now. Um, I've actually been chewing on this track for like a couple of years now, and I've gotten little sections of it. and you know, then I'll give up on it and come back to it. And um, But it's interesting because I've recorded this one section of the guitar here. Um, if you can look at, listen to the guitar by itself here, I'll make this a little bit larger so you guys can see this guitar track. Um, then I'll zoom in on it. And as you see, I'm using uh, state-of-the-art computer software um, back in 2000, actually. <laughs> I still have my old Pro Tools 5.2 system running on a, a Mac G4 from literally 2000, 2001. And uh, I spent a fortune on this system, like well over $20,000. And um, I've added to it since then. I'm running Logic on my MacBook Pro. Uh, you know, all, all the latest and greatest stuff is on this side of the studio. Um, but, you know, for cutting audio, I haven't upgraded my Pro Tools rig um, in a long time, as you can see. But, you know, I love this old system. It works for me, and I know it pretty well. Um, so I'll keep on using it until it just dies on me. But like I said, you know, I'm, I love to just screw around and play normal guitar, but uh, paranormal guitar is really where it's at for me um, when you start really chopping up the audio and doing some crazy stuff. So this is the guitar by itself. As you can see there, if you zoom in on it, you can see it's just, you know, some simple audio. Um, then you put a little bit of uh, delay on that, echo, and you get this. So then things get really crazy when you start doing that to multiple tracks. Um, let's see here. If I start doing that to uh, a few different guitar tracks that are all playing together, you get some pretty crazy stuff going on. Like, for instance, this section right here uh, was the same thing. I just recorded some guitar sections. <laughs> other track so you can hear the two tracks together all right so when you take all of that you put some delay on it and you screw those guitars up where you can't even recognize them as being guitars a lot of people think it's uh, keyboard synthesizers but it's not it's just guitar on this track all you're hearing is a number of guitar tracks with audio that's been completely flipped up upside down on its head and um, the only keyboard synthesizer track you're going to hear is the bass line which is this fellow right here that is the only keyboard so you put them all together and you get some interesting things like First part, and then I played you that other with the other guitar tracks all playing together. So yeah, there you go. Something I really like doing, and you know, if you really want to get crazy, I'll show you what I did here. Um, this is audio that's been chopped down to 64th notes, uh, and you know, if you really know your rhythms, you can get some pretty crazy stuff. You go know, back to where I started off. Uh, right about here. 
Come on. That's not the part I was going to play. I was going to play this part right here. Um, yep. So this is a guitar track. Audio from a guitar track. And um, it's been chopped into little teeny slices. Um, these are 64th notes, so this is what you get. So that little teeny bit you heard there, those are 64th, oh, come back. Those are 64th note slices of audio. And you get this bit going on. That's all it's doing. But it's in time. And um, um, so basically, what you're doing is you're using the timbre of the guitar as your original source, and then. Um, you start processing it. Like I said, I've pitched up guitars up, pitched them down. I've pitched them in intervals, thirds, fifths. Um, I've reversed audio and done all those things to it. Um, you know, I just just listen to it and see what it sounds like. So um, I'll play this one section, and that'll be the end of that. But um, where are you? See, I, <laughs> I have to recognize the audio by looking at uh, the patterns. I don't know, oh, I think it's over here. Anyway, um, yeah, that's uh, something you guys can try if you're guitar players and you're into electronic music and dance music. Um, get creative. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Bye.